Hello, welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to be explaining genetic diagrams and inheritance. Now, this is a fairly tricky part of the course, as you need to know a lot of key terms and how to use them to produce a genetic diagram, for higher tier anyway. So, terms are allele, homozygous, heterozygous, genotype, phenotype, dominant and recessive. Now, an allele is just a different form of the same gene. Now this is much easier to explain using the example. So let's say we're looking at eye colour. And let's say, just to simplify it, there are only two potential eye colours. Blue and brown. So the alleles would be a blue allele or a brown allele, um, which would be the potential genes. Now, as we know, every person has two copies of a gene for a feature because we inherit half of our DNA from our mother, half from our father. So I will have two copies of an eye colour gene. Now my eye colour is blue. Okay, so we'll look at how I inherited that in a second. But when we're drawing diagrams, we use letters to indicate it. So we use a small b to represent blue and a large b to represent brown. That's because blue is recessive and brown is dominant. All that means is that if I inherited one brown and one blue, my eyes would be brown because it's dominant. To get blue eyes, I must inherit two copies of the blue allele. Okay. So I'm gonna show how we inherited that. So let's imagine my parents each had one of each, just to show that. So my mum had one brown and one blue, and my dad also had one brown and one blue. So each of them would have brown eyes because they've both got one brown eye allele. Okay? Now we can use this genetic diagram to predict the likelihood of their children's eye colours. Okay? So we go through the diagram and we cross them and we, that would be the equivalent of combining the sex cells, so the sperm and the egg. So the first example, large B, large B. The second one, large b, small b. The third one, large b, small b. And the final one, small b, small b. Okay. So these are now known as our genotypes. So just the combination of alleles that we inherit. Okay. So we're going to build that on to explain phenotype in a second. So we can see what colour eyes they'd all have. So this one, this one and this one would all have brown eyes because brown is dominant over blue. They would all have brown eyes. This one would be me. I inherited those blue eyes, so that must be my genotype, two small Bs. Okay? Now, building up to phenotype, all phenotype means is the physical feature you express. So if you're looking at me, I must have two small Bs. That's my genotype, as in two blue eye alleles, my phenotype would simply be having blue eyes. Okay. Now, two of the terms we need to know, um, heterozygous and homozygous. Now, heterozygous just means that your genes are different, because hetero means different. So, for example, big B, little b is heterozygous. So, hetero means different, but big B big B and small b, small b, would both be homozygous. Because they have the same allele. Okay? Now I know this part's a little bit tricky, so if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Okay? Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at Rushcliffe Bio. Thank you very much.